सदाशिवसमारंभा शंकराचार्यमध्यमस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा सहना सह नौ भुन सह वीर्यंकवाहस्वी नवधीतमस्तु मिषा वह ओ शाति 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 यम ब्रह्म वरुणेन्द्र रुद्रमुत स्तुन्वि दिव्यस्तव वेद सांगपद्रमोपनिषद गायती यम सामगावस्थित तदेन मनसा पश्यति यम योगि यम न विदुसुरासुरगणा देवाय तस्म नम देवाय तस्म नम श्रीभगवाच श्रीभगवाच परम भूय प्रवक्ष्या परम भूय प्रवक्ष्यामुतम ज्ञानुतम यज्ञवा मुनय सर्वे यज्ञवा मुनय सर्वे परां सिद्धि मितो गता परां सिद्धि मितो गता इदम ज्ञानमुपाश्रित इदम ज्ञानमुपाश्रित मम साधर्म्यता मम साधर्म्यता सर्गे नोपजाते सर्गे नोपजाते प्रलय न व्यथंति प्रलय न व्यथंति मम यो निर्महद्रह्म मम यो निर्महद्रह्म तस्मिन् गर्भं दधाम्यहम् तस्मिन् गर्भं दधाम्यहम् संभव संभव सर्वभूता तथो भवति भारत तथो भवति भारत सर्वयो निशुकौंतेय सर्वयो निशुकौंतेय मूर्त संभव मूर्त संभव ब्रह्म महद्योनि ब्रह्म महद्योनि अहम बीज प्रदम अहम बीज प्रद पिता अहम बीज प्रद पिता द लास्ट क्लास बी स्टार्टेड द फोर्टीन चैप्टर वेर कृष्णा इज talking about srishti in the second chapter he started with who are you who am i like that ajo nitya shashvatoyam purana etc avinashi tu tad vidhi okay so that atma is avinash sampada now what is one way to know myself so he is saying know yourself hey arjuna yes i am glad you recognized that you are confused 
and I'm glad you recognize that your confusion is not a superficial confusion. It's coming from some more, a confusion about something more fundamental. More fundamental. And more fundamental is what? You really don't know who you are. You have a confused self-identity like that. He thought. And so if I have to know myself, okay, then oh, here Krishna is saying in this chapter, you have to know where you came from. And where did you come from? I came from my parents. I came from my parents. So if you can, okay, if, you, if it's difficult for you to know yourself, find out about your parents. And if you know about your parents, then you'll have some insights about yourself also. Because after all, the children are going to have properties of their parents. And so maybe that way, we can know ourselves a little better. And therefore, Krishna takes off to how this creation itself happens. Okay? And he says, if you can know yourself by knowing your parents, and knowing your parents means knowing the creation itself, because parents are also part of the creation. And so, I'm going to talk about creation. Like that, he... That's how he's... That is the reasoning behind his... His verses in this chapter. Okay? So, look at this. Sarva yonish kaunteya murtaya sambhavanti yaha tasam brahma mahadyonihi aham bija pradapita. He's already introduced it, this idea in the third shloka. And fourth shloka also. Okay, look at the second line. Tasam Brahma. Our first line itself. Sarva Yonish Kaunteya Murtaya Sambhavanti Yaha. Yaha. Yaha Murtayaha. Sambhavanti. All the Murtis means all of us are Murtis. He's using the word Murti for all of us. All the Bhutani, all the beings. Living, non-living, everything. So we are all murtis. All these murtis. Hey, Kaunte, yeah. Sarva Yonishu. Sambhavanti. Those which are born. How are all of us born? Well, we are all born in our respective yonis. In some respective wombs. An elephant cannot be born in the womb of a human mother. Elephant has to be born in the womb of an elephant only. Respective homes. Sarva Yoni. Okay. Mosquito also has to be born somehow. It has to have a mosquito Yoni. Only a mosquito Yoni can give birth to a mosquito. Like that. Like that Sarva Yoni shoe. Independent. Independent means what? Respective. Appropriate Yonis. Give rise to appropriate. Murtaya. Correct. And then those beings. What about those beings? Tasam Brahma Mahadyoni. Tasam Brahma Mahadyoni. Same meaning of Brahma from the third shloka. Third shloka, look at that. Mama Yoni, Mamad Brahma, Mahad Brahma. There we said Brahma is what? There we said Brahma is Prakriti Maya. It is an example where Brahma does not mean does not mean Nirbhanam Brahma. Okay. So Maya. Maya is the Mahat Yonihi, is the womb. Mahat has to be a very massive womb. And so Mahat, big. And uh, Tasam, of them. Tasam means what? Murtayaha. The Murtaya Sambhavanti Aha Tasam. So Murti Nam. Murti Nam. Yonihi Mahad Brahma. And who am I? Aham Bija Pradaf Pita. Yonihi Mother. Brahma. Brahma is Maya. Mata. And I am Pita. Bija. What kind of father I am? I am the Bija Pradaf Pita. I am the one who gives the seed for all those murtayaha. I'm the one who gives the seed. We saw it last time also. 
and so so that maya is inert and for the inner to really have a life i have to give the seed that is what he is saying i purusha activates prakriti purusha enlivens the prakriti purusha makes the prakriti alive and kicking let's they say alive and kicking alive and kicking very interesting word that i learned in america alive and kicking they say i think kicking refers to i think the baby kicks no that kicking i think that's what they are referring to alive and kicking because yeah, if the baby is not kicking then you know there is a problem baby must be sleeping sleeping okay but not sleeping also means what so uh therefore we are the universal couple we are the mother and father of the entire universe we saw that last time vagartha viva sampruktho vagartha pratipattaye jagatah pitarau vande parvati parameshwara kalidasa it seems was that was the first shloka that came out of his mouth you know he was he was uh, he was uh, disadvantaged person and uh, so he then look at what all came out of kalidas anyway so therefore what is the difference the similarity of the human couple parents also produce children parvati parameshwara vishnu vishnu lakshmi also produce brahma saraswati also produce but there is one big difference and the difference is difference is the human parent can only produce human beings but the universal parents produce they are the cause for the entire universe so they can produce anything all species all living non living beings everything okay yeah. so that's understood <clears throat> and therefore we are all children of purusha plus prakriti he said understand creation so what do i understand from the creation purusha and prakriti are together uh brahma and maya nirgunam and sagunam okay and so unchanging and changing these are these have to combine in order to produce something anything and so now the question i should ask is so these two are there and so i have to ask who am i eventually i have to ask i am a combination of two so i must be a combination of two only no no why no because i already know i am not i am even though yes this body mind sense complex who is talking to you who is listening to you who is running and doing things is a combination of two without the combination it's not possible to do okay that i know but who am i if i ask some days i am saying i am tall i am tall means i am saying i am referring to this body and saying i am tall other times i am saying i am hungry i am hungry means what my toes are hungry your legs are hungry hands are hungry no 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 hands are not hungry no something else here down below is hungry okay i am hungry i am short sighted who is short stomach is short sighted no stomach is not short sighted my dear friend i am short sighted means my eyes are have difficulty seeing from oh your eyes constantly i am confused eyes are confused no 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 eyes are not confused stomach is confused no stomach is not confused body is confused no no body is not confused but that day you said i am tall no that's why i asked you you said i am tall so i i thought i means body and therefore i thought body is confused i thought stomach must be confused no 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 this is confused ah uh, this is confused that's the satyam that is the truth you are confused because you don't know where to put your eye that is a confusion therefore we know that we know there is some confusion there if body is not confused somebody else is confused and there is something else that is aware of the confusion that's a beauty and so therefore krishna is saying this prakriti and purusha is very important to know so that i can come to know the paramarthika satyam of the entire world 
of my parents and therefore of myself also. And, uh, you know, when yesterday, the last class when I mentioned that inseparability of Purusha and Prakriti, like just like the clay and pot cannot be separated. There he mentions, Swamiji says, you know, Lakshmi is there in the, in the, this one, Vakasthalam, in the chest. And these people, that's why our pockets are always there in the chest. And so you put your money in the pocket here, because that's where Lakshmi should be. Instead, people put the pocket in the back, front, in the here and all places, in the, in the where all, we don't know. And so, can you put Lakshmi in the back pocket? Please tell me. That's what he's asking. <laughs> Srinivasa. Vishnu is called Srinivasa. Okay. Shriyaha Nivasa. The abode, the resting place of Shri Lakshmi. And you don't put her in the back. Okay. It's not correct, he says. And so you put something else in the back pocket, but front pocket. And it's also good if you put it in the front pocket. You know why? If you put it in the back pocket, it's easy for the pickpockets also. That's the minute I separate Lakshmi from my chest, then I make it easy for them. That's all. So that's why. That's the reason pickpockets are very successful. Anyway, so this is the subject of the 14th chapter. Okay, this is the idea. That knowing the creation, I will be able to know the tattvam of the entire jacket and of myself also, of course. So let's translate the shloka. He kaunte ye. Yeah. So, whatever forms are born in all the wombs, whatever forms are born in all the wombs, for all of them, for all of them, the greatest Prakriti is the womb. The greatest Prakriti is the womb. Full stop. I am the father who provides the seed. I am the father who provides the seed. Full stop. Okay. Hey, Kaunte, yeah? whatever forms are born in all the wombs, for all of them, the greatest prakriti is the womb. Full stop. I am the father who provides the seed. Full stop. Next. Sattvam Rajasthama Iti Sattvam Rajastha Rajasthama Iti Guna Prakriti Sambhava Guna Prakriti Sambhava Nibad Nanti Mahabaho Nibad Nanti Mahabaho Dehe dehinam avyayam. Dehe dehinam avyayam. Yeah. So, the three gunas have been introduced, right? Tattvam, Rajaha, and Tamaha. They have been introduced. So, we have to, some introduction is there here. <clears throat> so, he's indicating now that 
we have to understand these gunas. These gunas are there with prakriti, and those gunas I also have. Like that, he's going to, that's going to be the build up. And because the, the child of parents will gain the attributes of the parents, okay, somehow known attributes and unknown also. Obvious attributes are not so obvious also. Obvious attributes is looks. They say, oh, looks. He looks exactly like the mother. Okay, like that they say. And uh, sometimes later, not so obvious things. Because the child has to walk, run, play, talk. Things are there. So there some of the similarities will come out. Until then you won't know. And so, so the message there is what? Karana gunaha karye anuvartante. Karana gunaha. The attributes that are there with the cause, karana, end up in, in here in, appear in, the karyam also, in the effect also, in the creation also. That's, that's understood. And so, Purusha is nirvikaram, nirgunam, okay, chetanam and satyam. Prakriti is opposite of that. Vikari, guni, okay, sagunam, and then achetanam and vidya. And so, the beauty of Advaita Vedanta is just the separating these. Try to understand these things separately, then put together. After that, putting together is not a problem. Correct? After that, it is not a problem because it is already put together anyway. Who am I to physically separate it? But cognitively, I can separate it. Okay? And so, body and mind constantly changing. Constantly changing. This is beautiful because I have taken the constantly changing to be myself. And then I suffer on account of that. I try to somehow make the body not age. Anti-aging cream. Anti-aging cream. You know, people who are born in Indian culture, if they know even a little bit about aging and all this, our Vedanta and all, they will not get carried away by all this anti-aging. It's okay. Want to look good, etc. Pimple here and there. Put whatever cream. That's all fine. But anti-aging cream, who are you trying to fool? You give me a cream that will make my skin a little smoother. I want to look a shiny face. Okay, all that I can understand. But don't pull me into this anti-aging business. That's what we will all see. Anyway, so, what about, okay, body is changing. Vikaravati. Vikari, Savikari. What about mind? Mind is subtle. Yeah, mind is very subtle. I can't, I can't really, I've not seen anybody's mind. I have seen the brain, but not the mind. Yeah, mind is even more subtler than the brain. Brain is a beautiful, beautiful organ because it is able to hold on to the subtle. It is only an organ in the body which has the capacity to keep a subtle thing, right? Like keeping a secret, they say. Can you keep a secret? Yeah, ma'am, ma'am, I can keep a secret. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's the first guy who can't keep a secret. <laughs> okay. So this brain is able to keep that subtle thing. and uh, But body is material. Who said subtle is not material? Hey, for us, subtle also comes under the category of material only, under the category of prakriti only. That's because you can't see something. Akasha. Akasha is the subtlest element. But it's part of Prakriti. It's part of Prakriti only. And so subtle doesn't mean it's non-material. Okay? And material doesn't mean it has to be solid, liquid, gas. This is what we studied in school. And so we take it literally like that and say it's neither solid, nor liquid, nor gas. Therefore, it has to be subtle. Therefore, it's something else. The subtle also is a material type of material also. And therefore, body, mind, senses, the entire complex. Karya Karana Sanghataha, it's called Karya Karana Sanghata. Okay. Karya means body, literally referring to that cross body, Karyam. And Karana, 
Karanam is all the instruments, including the mind also. Mind and senses, all subtle things also comes under Karanam. Sense organs are subtle. Subtle. The eyeball is not subtle. It's gross. Eyeball is gross. You need a... Like the brain is gross. Brain needs a mind. I'm uh, sorry. And mind needs a brain to, to hold on, to stay. It's called in Sanskrit. You know what the place of stay is called? It's called Gola Kam. If you want to make a note of it. Gola Kam. Gola Kam. This part is called the Gola Kam. This eyeball, this eye socket. All this is Gola Kam. Retina, etc. It's called Gola Kam. Gola Kam means what? The residing place of the sense organ called Chakshuhu. Chakshurindriyam. That is Chakshurindriyam. That is the subtle one. Everything else is gross. Okay. And all the doctor can do is process the gross. They can do a laser surgery and process the gross in such a way that the sense organ is able to, is more comfortable, comfortably operating. Free of any nirbandhas, any obstacles, cataract, uh, they can do, they can remove the cataract. So that then the sense organs are just happy. Okay. And so, these two things are together like this. How together they are? Well, like hot water. In hot water, heat is also there, water is there. But you know very well, heat is not a property of the water. Heat has somehow come and enliven this water. That you need that hot water, useful hot water. Okay, That usefulness was there. The heat gave that usefulness. And so, that heat is not intrinsic to water. Yeah. Likewise, this body is also now live, sentient. We say sentient, living and all that. And so, like that hot water, the body now has what is called borrowed sentience. You can say body is live, but literally body is not live. Body is made live, made sentient. Correct? Made sentient. And so, that borrowed sentiency is now going to get a different name. Borrowed sentiency is going to get a different name called Chidabhasa. Chidabhasa. Chit. You don't use the word Chit. You leave Chit aside. Hey, chit is Chit. You have Sarvam Kalvidam Brahma. Brahma can't do anything, really speaking. But when you talk about action and creation and death and processing and vikaram and gunatmam and all, you leave chit aside. You bring chida bhasa. Chida bhasa means what? It's a borrowed consciousness. Yeah, it is also chaitanyam, but it's borrowed chaitanyam. It's reflected chaitanyam. It is the chaitanyam that is part of every activity. Okay. So that's chida bhasa. Okay, and so uh, that is what makes the body quote unquote live. It's what makes the mind quote unquote live. Okay, and so shariram is there, deha is there, body, and chidabhasa is there. And shariram plus chidabhasa, also we can give a name, and the name is now going to be. Ahankaraha is popularly used in our Shastram. Ahankaraha. When Ahankara, generally Ahankara means this Mamatvam is there, the guy who's going around saying, I did it, this Karta, Bhukta, etc. Ahankara. But Yahampar Ahankara. Now, similar, same meaning, but different context. Chidabhasa plus Shariram comes together. Shariram is Manaha also. Okay. Chidabhasa and Shariram. Deha, Manas, everybody, Indriyani, everything comes together like this. And then this guy gets the name Ankara. Ankara. Beautiful. Now, Ankara is the king and the queen of this body mind sense complex, right? Because now this guy has to make sense of the world, make sense of himself, herself. That guy who makes, trying to make sense is called Ankara. That's the guy who can be confused or related. That's the guy who says, I'm a mortal, I'm immortal. I'm a mortal. That's what he's saying. And so he, she is the one who makes sense. 
and so that 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 ankara is now a combination of two things one is called chidabhasa sometimes referred to as sakshi sakshi because sakshi form is given right observe observe and not an ordinary guy ankara is not ordinary to very it's a king he is the king she is the queen and they he is he, he can do things he can undo things okay and so sakshi is there and uh, prakriti is there purusha is there and prakriti is there sometimes use the word sakshi is used for purusha but the combination is ankara it's as though ankara is the one that joins the two that is a glue combined entity of purusha and prakriti combined ankara the sankara now has to has a big job to do and what job is that ankara is very good at finishing off the entire world means knowing the entire world conquering the entire world and keep saying progress 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 and changes life for people makes life comfortable for people also ankara is capable of doing that but one thing ahankara is one more job has to be done by ahankara is to understand what this ahankara is what is this ahankara where did i get all this capacity is this capacity going to make me happy make me fulfilled okay we are now using the word fulfilled because we are, we are having these separate discussions on can life be more fulfilling i actually on science side i think that's a good title that's a good title because we can bring in a lot of ideas under the word fulfilling and so so that's this ankara and uh, that ankara if he the if he it let's say it if it doesn't know itself if ahankara does not know that it's a combination of these two and that this aham is just floating all over the body and mind some days it's on the body sometimes next second it's on the mind next second it's on the respiratory system then it's on the physiological system so many things are going on if the ahankara doesn't figure out this then ahankara will say aham samsari aham samsari because gunavat samsar this whole body mind sense is constantly changing satvam rajas tamas is going to come okay it's constantly changing constantly changing and so whereas if the guy says no i am a combination of two but then the real i is there there is a real i a real an unchanging part of me also is there and that is changing part i can't sacrifice just like that i have to pay a little more attention to that and changing part and so that's how the story is going to go and therefore now you can understand if this samsari goes to heaven suppose somebody says if you go to heaven if you worship person x krishna you will go to vaikuntha and then you will be happy ever after hey wait a minute when i go to vaikuntha i will be another ahankara there means i am going to be purusha plus prakriti only and will i be enlightened ahankara or samsari ahankara i will be a samsari ahankara because i have not separated is here i can't separate the two how, how am i going to separate it in heaven heaven is bhoga sharir they they all say that heaven means just that it no chinta nasti chinta nasti kil sadashiva brahmendra right sir nice chinta nasti kila so swarge api chinta nasti kila okay and when there is no worry at all where is the where why should i sit in a zoom class at 6:30 in the morning please tell please tell me this and that's why swami and i sometimes we joke if i were if yama had come to me and said oh, i'll give you all these things hundreds and hundreds of years and then all you'll be the reigning supreme <laughs> king of the entire universe 
I'll say thank you very much. Just go away from there. That's it. Over. Game is over. Who's going to worry about 500 years from now? And, now? and so, the, the, this is no Swagga is not a place to sit and study. And I think Yama is going to say something like that. Also, I, in our cut off nation, it's going to come. If it's not already come. And so, it's not going to work that easily. And so, and because there's guna, guna is always there. And guna has another meaning also. If you look up the dictionary for guna, one of the meanings is rope. R-O-P-E, rope. What is the use of a rope? Rope is meant to tie. Whatever things you have to bind, you have to, your rope is needed. So guna is bandakam. By nature, guna means binding. That is another meaning also. Attribute. Guna means quality. That is the actual meaning here. But quality, if you say, it will bind. It has the nature of binding, sticking. Okay? Fusing things together, etc. And so that is by the way. <clears throat> and so now Krishna is going to say, this ahankara has three gunas. Ahankara is endowed with three gunas. Because this Ankara is after all a product of parents who also are endowed with three gunas. Prakriti is endowed with three gunas. And so, Sattvam Rajas Tama Iti. Iti. Let's look at the shloka. Sattvam Rajas Tama Iti. Uh, gunaha Prakriti Sambhavaha. All born of Prakriti. Prakriti has given me or given Ahankara these three gunas. Okay. And uh, so these are technical words, and we are all familiar with these words. These are so important. These words are so words itself are so important. The idea itself is so important. It is there in all our Indian science. Ayurveda onwards, everything, medical science you take, these three gunas will come. Any other science you take. I'm sure even if we study Arthashastra of Chanakya, I'm not studying, but if we were to study, somewhere these three will come. And somehow, somewhere he will come and say the king has to be sattvic, but should have a healthy dose of rajas, he will say. I'm sure Chanakya would have said it. Because king has to govern. He can't sit and say, I am going to think about the universe. You are welcome to think about the universe, my dear king. That's okay. That's your prerogative. But there is a lot of other important things you have to do, which requires rajas. Plus, you need to take some rest also. Tamas. Okay, because another big thing is going to come up in a week. Two weeks time. And so for which you need a lot of rajas. Backed by sattvam. All that is going to be there. And therefore, Therefore, this Sattva Rajasthama is very important. Sat Sattvika Ahankara, Sattvam predominating Ahankara, the thinking Ahankara, is an Ahankara that can process things, that's ready to process things, that's ready to say, wait a minute, what did you say? Can you repeat that? Can you repeat that? Means what? I, I want to understand what you just said. I want to understand. I don't want to just, I don't want to simply allow sound bites to go into my ears and come out of my other ear. It's not, I'm not that kind of person. And so, that person has that capacity. Sattva gives me that capacity. He gives that person that capacity. And Sattva person will enjoy quietude, will enjoy silence, all these things you know. And enjoy inquiry, enjoy knowing the truth. The truth. However bitter it might be, no, I want to know the truth. Okay. And so, but then, Sattva is binding. How come Sattva also can be binding? This is liberating. No, Sattva need not want to liberate. And you look at the Sattvic person at home. Quietly visit him at home. Quietly, without telling, without calling him. And he will be screaming at the other people. You know what he will be screaming? Don't you know I like quiet silence in this home? Have you forgotten? How many times I have to tell you this? This guy is shouting at people. Yeah, because he is disturbed. <laughs> Whenever things are not quiet, he is just anxious. He is anxious. He is anxious. 
And so he is disturbed by noise. Corruption will disturb him. He can fellow will never be happy. In Tamil Nadu, he can't be happy at all because corruption is everywhere. The amount of money they take from poor people, we have to see. Bribe, bribe, bribe. Every person, Chaukidar onwards, you have to bribe. And in order to live happily in this kind of a thing, we have to be very, very sad. Otherwise, we'll get finished. And so, and therefore, that sattva also binds. Unless, uh, that's for, that's for, unless we come to Bhagavad Gita. Otherwise, it's not possible. Rajas also is like that. Rajas, see, in sattvam, the person's indriyas are all put to good use. Jnana indriyas are put to good use. Rajas, the guys, karma indriyas have to be working properly. Okay. Pani, padam, etc., hands, legs and all must be, because the guy is active, dynamic. He is constantly, he has to do something or the other. Rajas, predominant. Okay. And so, the phone is needed. Phone is needed. This Rajas guy, he needs a phone. Otherwise, he will feel his hands will shiver and he will get fidgety. Why? What's happening? Fidgety. Rajas? No, fidgety means Rajas. <laughs> phone is not there. I need somebody to talk. Constantly, I need some. Hey, ideas are coming. Good. They have good intentions. But Rajas, okay. And so, that guy also is bound. Why is bound? He is bound by silence. Silence is poison for this guy. Why? Tintude is a poison for this guy. He can't handle silence. And so, he will get nervous if things are not, you know, some, some rap, rap has to go on. Hard rock has to be there. Otherwise, all this classical music, you know, Vandeva Sudevam Vande Vasudevam Shri Patim Vande. Few seconds only you can handle. That's it. Over. So this guy, Rajas guy. So the Rajas guy also is bound by so many things. And then uh, Thomas also. Thomas. This Thomas guy, neither Pravritti like this Rajas. Nor nivritti like the sattva. Nivritti means a retreat, quietude, withdrawal. Pravritti means going forward, active. You, have, you need pravritti. A leader of a nation must be, must be pravritta purusha. Because the guy has to identify problems, immediately nip the problem in the bud and, uh, and back by sattva. That's the greatest king you can have, or a queen, or a leader, right? And so, this guy is not interested in anything. That's it. Tamas means, I am not interested. Something happens. Balkishan, they say. If something happens. In, when we were kids, boys and girls, they used to say, Chalnedo Balkishan. I don't know how that. Is what I, I don't know if it is coming from the north, or is it just some Hyder, Hyderabadi thing? I don't know. And so, Chalnedo. Chalnedu. And then they quote also, Hinduism is Chalnedu. So, Hindu, you have to allow things to happen as Prasada Buddhi. You get inferiority complex after you talk to all these people. <laughs> this guy, without studying anything, he's talking Vedanta. My God. He has all this Prasada Buddhi. Samattam, Yoga, Uchyate. No, 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 no. This guy has no enthusiasm for anything. Problem solving, zero, nothing. Neither he helps his family, nor he helps people outside the family, nothing. And so, he suppresses both pravritti and divritti. Tamas suppresses that. And so, therefore, he also will be disturbed. By whom? <laughs> Anybody who tells this, hey, you idiot. You, you, neither, you don't even want to make money. Hey, government is giving 2,000 rupees per head. Okay, Next government is promised 1,000 rupees more. Go, go, go to the ration shop, you'll get some money. Okay? Dekhenge. Dekhenge. He, is, he has to plan as though there is a lot of planning to do. <laughs> yeah, all you have to do is show your Aadhaar card, he will give you the cash. Okay. And so, there also. Therefore, he doesn't like advisors. He doesn't like people coming and giving him advice. Because they... <laughs> so, he's bound. He's also bound. He hates advisors. And of course, no scope for ritual progress and all that. And so, 
ಗುಣಾಸ್ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಅತೃಪ್ತಿ ಅತೃಪ್ತಿಕರತ್ವಂ ವಿ ಸಾ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಗೋ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದುಃಖ ಮಿಶ್ರಿತತ್ವಂ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ಡೂ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಸ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎನಿ ಬಡಿ ಡಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಡೂ ಟು ಬಿ ಸ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಫೈಡ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಟು ಬಿ ಕಂಟೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಬಟ್ ದುಃಖ ಮಿಶ್ರಿತತ್ವಂ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಸಮ್ ಮಿಕ್ಸ್ಚರ್ ಮಿಕ್ಸ್ಚರ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನೆವರ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ this discussion is going to be interesting it is a monthly ones discussion can life be more fulfilling so i already last session i introduced the idea that uh, that artha kama and dharma i introduced and then i i threw this idea about about happiness all the sources of happiness that you have name all the things that make me happy your family my children make me happy my spouse makes me happy i threw the idea a hey, happiness you think happiness is coming from people coming from certain things it's not happiness is not sourced from those things no thing in this world is a source of happiness they are all a trigger they are all triggers all right they are all triggers that just open up the window in me the place to self that atma which is ananda swarupa i didn't use those words but i gave them this idea so i have to see how they are going to take it <clears throat> only next class i know if next class if we started with 30 people then it's now 20 so next class will i if i if there are 10 people i'll be very happy <laughs> okay so therefore uh, the guy who has sattvic personality who searches for knowledge who is knowledge lover that person also will come to know that my god the more i study the more i feel i don't know this is so vast and he is just going inside deeper and deeper and but there is so much to know swami so says the knowledge of a dermatologist is skin deep it seems dermatologist his knowledge is skin deep you know skin deep right skin deep means that's it beyond superficial two or three, three words you throw some sanskrit words also in between and then they will think oh my god you studied a lot beyond that you say ask a little then kap chip ho jayega have you studied panini just ask that question uh anyway so this 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 thing is always going mishrit mishrit always it will be there mishra rajas also rajas kai also will be bound will be bound see rajas personality this companies love rajas personality because they should not think too much if they think too much then they will know the secrets of the ceo or not so they don't want the younger people to think too much so you don't just think enough just enough to do your job so beyond that don't ask question and just go after it and get the job done rajas is important rajas is important and uh, but then constantly rajas means what happens by the time age age catches on and then 60 70 and all that body stops responding and so this guy will be frustrated because there is less and less time to do all these projects i am spending more and more time with the doctor what is this things are happening in ways in which i did not plan and what to do that servant so this guy is going to be frustrated through sleep sleep i know i'm not getting sleep why because the mind is processing a lot of things what all i should have done i didn't do today was a wasted day because i spent 4 hours in the hospital i could have done so many things in 4 hours so this is how it is and so even sleep also it becomes a problem so it's important for us to for all of us to know all this so at least to lead a reasonably reasonably good life and so atripti karatvam dukkha mishritatvam bandhakatvam also we saw these things before these things are not new to you and so and so uh, these gunas bind us yeah, that is that is the truth and uh, but then the gunas are important why are they important a 
that's how we are born. So I might as well use these gunas for my benefit. Okay. And so what is the benefit I want from these gunas? I want Antakarana Shuddhi. Go back to Karma Yoga. I want Antakarana Shuddhi. And only through these gunas, I have to activate these gunas. I have to use these gunas. When my mind is alert, let me spend time on Shastra. Okay, I don't know how long this alertness will last. Last, I have a lot of things to do today. All small, small things which I have to do every day. Okay. And so let me do it properly. Let me get that mindset so that I can, I know I am part of this creation. I am an important part of this creation. Let me have the prasada buddhi. Let me invoke Ishwarapana buddhi. I, whatever I do is going into this universe. It's going to be an ajna. From today onwards, my activities are going to be yajna. It's not simply mundane task I am doing. Everybody is doing mundane tasks. So therefore, take it up and do it properly. Like the guy, Swamiji gives the example of a pole vaulter. Pole vaulter. The guy uses the pole vault. He uses a pole to vault himself up. And then... Then what he says, he says, oh my God, this pole has helped me come this far. I love this pole so much. How can I let go of this pole? Loyalty. The pole has been so loyal to me. I also should protect the pole and be with the pole wherever the pole is. So he goes all the way to the top and doesn't let go of the pole. Yes, he loves the pole. Pole also loves him. And so you can't say that. Can't say that. You have to let go of the pole also. And so let go of things. Certain things we do, then let go. Certain things we do, let go. Because as only you have to grow out of it. Constantly growing and growing out. Every step of the way, this is true. And we do it quite seamlessly in the younger ages, I think. Younger ages, it seems to happen. And balloons, and then grow out of balloons. Some toys, then grow out of the toy. Bigger toys, grow out of those toys. Then school, college. And things like that. So it goes quite smoothly. But after some time, I think this growing out just stops. We think there is no more growing out. We are all successful people. That's it. After that, the minute I say I am successful, that's it. At that point, all this growing out stops. You have to grow out of a lot of things. Even Parayanam, Vedanta students have to grow out of certain Parayanams. And come to Shastram. Bhagavad Gita, we have to come to on the message of the Bhagavad Gita. Even Vishnu Sahasranamam, Parayanam, from Parayanam to Shravanam. When am I going to understand the meaning of Vishwam, Vishnuhu, Vashatkaraha, Bhuta Bhavya Bhavat Prabhu? Hey, when am I going to understand? Bhuta Bhavya Bhavat Prabhu is a great, one word is enough, whole week we can talk about. Understanding. These words are meant to take me towards them. Take me towards that. And therefore, we, we have to become, when are we going to become Nachiketa? So, growing out is, has to be constant in our life. And so, like the pole water, who like, uses a pole only where it, until where it's needed. After that, let's go off. And uh, let's go. And then, of course, then enjoyable. Pole is always enjoyed. Okay. And so, <laughs> Swamiji says, Three people are in class. Three students are in class. The Tamaf Pradhana student also is there in class. And then that guy is dozing off like this. Sattva Pradhana guy is alert, listening to and enjoying whatever is to be enjoyed, soaking in whatever, etc. Then Rajav Pradhana. Rajav Pradhana also is not sleeping. But he is trying to find out who is sleeping. Look, look, Prasad is dozing off in the... He is talking to somebody else. Oh, that's a Raja Pradhana. He is sitting in class and watching everybody else. It's... So in Zoom also we can do, you know. Periodically you get bored. And the same guna, sattva, rajas, tamas and all that. I know all these things. Yes. What, what are other people doing? Are they writing notes? Huh? Oh, Vaidya is smiling. Okay, okay. Not bad. <laughs> like that, you can spend some time with and, and and the teacher can't observe all these things. So that's another beautiful thing about Zoom. I think Zoom class people enjoy for that reason. Anyway, this is the background. This is the background. And so we will just chant this once, this shloka. 
तत्वम रजस्तम इति गुणा प्रकृति संभवा निबंधंति महाबाहो देहे देहे नम व्यय ऑलरेडी यू नो द मीनिंग ऑफ द श्लोक तत्वम रजस्तम इति गुणा देर आर द थ्री गुणास व्हिच आर प्रकृति संभवा व्हिच आर बोर्न ऑफ प्रकृति ओके व्हिच आर देयर इन दिस वर्ल्ड and what do this what is the attribute what greatness do these gunas have if you ask what is the resume how does the resume of gunas look like he says nibadranti they bind their greatness claim to fame is binding they bind he mahabaho dehe dehinam avyaya who do they bind they bind bind the dehi dehi देहि नित्यमवध्योयम देहे देहि नित्यमवध्योयम देहे सर्वस्य भारत आई थिंक फॉरगेटिंग दैट देहि दैट आत्मा इट बाइंड्स द आत्मा इट्स गुणा इज सो स्ट्रांग इट इज एज दो बाइंडिंग नोबडी कैन बाइंड आत्मा बट इट्स एज दो बाइंडिंग द आत्मा अंकारा इज बाउंड बाउंड देहे इन दिस बॉडी that dehi that is there in the body who is the main person whose whose nature i have lost okay i lost touch with the dehi that dehi is bound as though that is what he say we'll look at the meaning translation and all we'll do it in the next part om apadam apahartaram दातारोकाम श्रीराम भूय भूय नमा ओ आपदापहर्ता दातारोकाम श्रीराम भूय भूय नमा पदापहर्ता दातारोकाम श्रीराम भूय भूय नमा ओ पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णा पूर्ण मुदच्य पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओं शाति 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 हरि ओं श्रीगुरभ्यो नम हरि ओं